Hi there and welcome to Alpine Bravo, my channel on everything to do with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And this video is part two in a series of tutorials on how to fly the Dare Kodiak 100 by Simwork Studio, one of the best GA aircraft in the simulator, in my view. And in this episode, we'll be talking about how to manage the payload in the aircraft, uh, which has some unique features in the Kodiak 100. So let's get into it. So here we are on the ground at uh, Orkers Island, KORS. Uh, in uh, Kodiak 100 with a cargo pod uh, with normal tires and the cabin is configured uh, for mixed payload, which gives me four passenger seats and uh, space for cargo at the back, as well as the cargo pod itself. Uh, you can see I have my company pilot, Ursula Kowalska. Uh, I didn't just make that up. She is my one of my on-air company pilots, and she's the one assigned to this aircraft. One of the unique features of the Kodiak compared to other aircraft in the simulator is how it handles the weight and balance and managing payload and uh, as a utility aircraft uh, the Kodiak's really designed for hauling passengers and cargo into all sorts of different kind of airfields and how you load up the cargo is pretty important uh, so that's normally the first thing that I'll do as part of the pre-flight is get the payload on board uh, and uh, properly configured. So how do we do that? We go to the top main here and select weight and balance. Now, if you're not used to doing this, you don't normally do this, then it may open screen like this. Uh, the first thing you need to do is expand this box. If I can pick up, uh, I should be able to get it to, to expand uh, and pop it out. No, that's not going to work. Try again. Because there is a part of the window uh, that isn't visible. There we go. So you want to get that arrow and slide it out. And as you can see, it reveals uh, some pretty important information about the center of gravity uh, of the aircraft. And I'm not going to explain uh, what that means, but uh, other than just the real basics is that any aircraft, uh, the center of gravity uh, really matters and our limits. Uh, where the current center of gravity is shown by the uh, black and white uh, round symbol there, um, with uh, the white bars showing the forward and aft limit of how far forward you can have the weight and how far aft, and that will change as you start to add payload to the aircraft. Now for a flight, uh, now you can either, you know, make up your own payloads as you like. Um, and if you're learning to fly the aircraft, you probably want to fly it fairly empty or just in the standard payload configuration. And when you load uh, the aircraft, it will always load with 50% fuel a pilot and a co-pilot. Now I've already changed it so that the co-pilot has been removed but if I put in 170 here now and we go back minimize that you will now see we have a co-pilot uh, showing in the co-pilot seat. Uh, if you want to change what the avatars look like that you can do that uh, in the miscellaneous um, options menu in the main screen. So typically I operate the Kodiak without a co-pilot though, single pilot operation. And uh, for this example today, I'm going to say I've got a, the payload are three passengers uh, and 144 pounds of textiles. Now let's see what happens as I start to, in fact you could already see that uh, if you notice the centre of gravity shifted slightly aft as soon as it registered that there wasn't a co-pilot sitting up front. Now I'm going to add 
three passengers. Um, and if you're using an add-on like on air or some of it, it will normally have a standard value for the weight of a typical passenger plus their hand baggage. And in on air, it's 190 pounds. So I've uh, said 190 pounds in those three stations. And again, if we minimize this, we can now see in the Kodiak, we have three passengers occupying those seats. We've got a bunch of other stations, um, four seats in this configuration. So once we started adding, well, once we start adding payload uh, to uh, row three further aft, that will appear as cargo. So I said I had £144 of textiles. So let's, um, let's do that as £75. 3 and 4 and 75 pounds uh, 3 left and 3 right and let's see what that looks like and you can see there's the payload what effect if we look to the right has that had now you can see that uh, circle has moved aft it's still within limits and it is showing the center of gravity is now at 30.94% Mach. Mach stands for mean aerodynamic chord. Look it up if you want to find out what that means. But all you really need to know is you've got to keep that circle uh, as close to the center as possible. And that really starts to become an issue when you are operating the aircraft uh, quite heavily loaded. Let's see what happens. Say we had a 600 pound load of cargo, not 144 pounds. So let's put 150 pounds in that, 150 pounds in that, and then 150 pounds in that, and 150 pounds in that. Now you can see it is now right on the aft limit. Center of gravity is now 39.67, and uh, that is not a good configuration. Now, a lot of other aircraft in the simulator, you can use the slider, and that will actually control where the center of gravity is, not in the Kodiak. The Kodiak, you can only control the center of gravity by how and where you load your payload. So you need to pay uh, quite a close attention to that. And uh, things like the cargo shelf, uh, you can put up to 200 pounds, it says here in the cargo shelf, but that's right at the back of the cabin and really pushes the center of gravity aft. So this is the cargo pod version of the Kodiak. If we again minimize it, we can see the cargo pod here. And there are three compartments in the cargo pod, each uh, one, two, and three. One is the most forward. Uh, and you can see the limits there. And the good thing about using the cargo pods uh, is that they do not affect the center of gravity nearly quite so much as putting the payload in those load stations in the aft of the main cabin. So let's say we've still got 600 pounds of cargo. Uh, I can put... Uh, 290 in compartment one of the cargo pod, 280 in two, uh, and what does that leave me? I know you can take 750 in total, so I just need to put 30 in there, and that gives us our 600 pounds. Now, we've got the same amount of payload in, as we had before, but you can see the center of gravity is in a much better place. It's much further forward, and that will certainly affect how the aircraft flies. You'll get smoother takeoffs and landings. So understanding how um, uh, you know how to load the cargo um, and what's the best uh, best way of loading the cargo is really important. It's not just about staying within the maximum takeoff weight, weight, and you know that shows what that is here. I mean, we've only, you know, we could technically load another 900 pounds of cargo, 
uh, onto the aircraft uh, before we got to the limit of £7,255. But it might not be possible to get that uh, within uh, the centre of gravity limits. Let's see what happens if uh, you start piling on more and more. So there is another £300 there, £300 there. It's taking us right up, put in a £150 there, right on the limit, £150 here. And as you can see, we've now got a warning saying centre of gravity out of limit. You could probably, it won't stop you flying the aircraft, uh, but you'll find it really difficult to control and it would be unsafe uh, to operate it in that condition. Let's just... Um, and you can see the uh, boxes are all piled up in the back. Obviously, you can't see any cargo that you load in the cargo pod or the cargo shelf itself. So you really obviously got to uh, avoid getting into that situation. And the further aft the center of gravity is, the more nose down trim you'll need to apply on takeoff and one tip uh, that I've heard uh, from another YouTuber is uh, roughly mirror so if you've got 30% max center of gravity try and adjust the trim down by about 30% on the dial and uh, you'll see what I mean later on if we're in this video or the next so we'll just reset that click reset and then it takes us back to the standard configuration now of course I was doing all of that that was just the payload and I wasn't uh, adjusting the fuel lever so I will actually go back and set it up as I would if I was flying this flight with the mission payload that we're expecting so 190 in fact I'll just uh, do a control C Control V to speed it up a little. It would be really nice if you could save some of these configurations, but you can't. So there's our three passengers, and we only had 144 pounds of cargo. Let me just pop that straight into cargo bay one. And fuel, I know I have got 666 pounds of fuel on board now. Setting this can be quite tricky. 666 divided by 2, 333. Quite straightforward, actually. So I'll put 333 in each tank. And so we've got a center of gravity of 25.75 uh, max. I'll round that up to 26. That looks good. Uh, maximum takeoff weight. You want to make a note of what your maximum takeoff weight is going to be or your all up weight. And that's 5,520 pounds. So uh, that's uh, that's fine. And I know for flight planning purposes that 660 pounds of fuel is perfectly adequate. I'll cover that in a separate video. So that is how you load up the aircraft. And as I say, um, you want to play around with this, uh, but for Learning to basic operations, you probably just want it configured in that standard setup like that. You may want to get rid of the co-pilot, though, because that may will help improve your view out the right-hand side of the aircraft. Okay, uh, that's everything on weight and balance. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Uh, any comments are always really welcome. Uh, and uh, if you haven't checked out uh, the first video in the series, uh, that's up above. And uh, the next one will be part three, which will be taking a quick tour around the cockpit and interior of the Kodiak. Until then, see you next time.